Inez, talk to me about this story. It seems insane to me, and that's using a delicate term, insane to me that a media who has been obsessed for the past two years about the idea of collusion and corruption wouldn't, uh, ta wouldn't want to cover this story or investigate this story at all because this story has all of the elements in real life that they claim the Russia investigation and the Trump-Russia collusion has that we haven't seen evidence of. Look, this is a big story, and as you said, it's gone basically unreported. It's been reported on, you know, page six instead of the frontline news that, for example, Comey's book has been getting um, and the Trump-Russia collusion narrative has been getting on all mainstream networks 24-7, more or less. Um, and and this, there's a lot of disturbing elements in the story that really need further investigation. I really wish that the media actually would come off the narrative for a minute and actually do their job and investigate this story. Because what we have are a series of facts that are disturbing, but not yet fully investigated, right? So that the claim by this uh, associate of Awan's father, uh, he's actually in jail right now for fraud. Some of those frauds he committed with Awan's father, um, and he was double-crossed by the Awan family. So it's not, it, and the Daily Caller wasn't able, who broke the story, was not able to corroborate the USB story, um, the, the handover of the USB drive. But this is something that's disturbing, right? Um, and there's definitely enough evidence on this guy and his whole family from fraud to uh, a front organization, a car uh, dealership in Falls Church that took money from an Iraqi national that the FBI wants. Um, so there's a lot that is actually confirmed on these people uh, to, to warrant further investigation. But for some reason, both in Congress and in the media, that investigation is not happening. No.